In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a new user to a 2008 domain controller. Simply go to Start, Administrative Tools, Active Directory, Users and Computers. And from here, uh, we want the user container. Um, if you want to do different things with group policy or organize it a little differently, you can certainly do that. But for our uses, um, we're going to, or for our size network, we're going to add it to the users folder. And you can right click and click on new and user, or you can simply use the shortcut up here to add a new user. So we're going to add our new user. I'm just going to call this demo. The login name is going to be demo. We'll click on next and we'll put in our password. Now there's complexity rules and so we would tell you to use at least eight characters. Uh, there should be a mixture of uppercase, lowercase, and special characters and numbers. And so we're going to go ahead and put in our, our password here. Now Users must change password and next logon. In our typical small network, we don't want to do that. We want to actually have a master password list um, in larger organizations or if you don't know the user um, or what they want to use or given an opportunity to change it, you can certainly uh, leave that checked. But for small businesses, a lot of times you're going to have a master password list. So we're going to turn that off. And we're also going to say that the user can't change the password. And that way the administrator um, will actually always have a list so they'll have to change the password for the end user and you do that just so um, things like vacations if the user's gone you can still get onto the PC if you like and we're also going to say that passwords never expire in large organizations um, this is probably not a great practice in the smaller network you know 20 30 people and below uh, this is actually okay. You can do a password change uh, when personnel leave and things like that, but rather than force it, uh, we leave it on password never expires. We'll go ahead and click next and finish. And that's it. That adds our user and then that user can then be logged into from uh, any of the PCs that we give that user rights to.